All right, guys. We got week eight, episode eight. Episode eight. I've been at this for two months, guys. Excited for today's location and today's neighborhood. So stay tuned. We are heading to one of the most famous neighborhoods in Chicago. It's always it's always on the news. It's always being talked about. So stay tuned for the next video, guys. <laughs> okay. I don't know. This tour today, it may be a little short because I don't know. It's only Tuesday. It's 11 a.m. 11.30 a.m. People are driving like really nuts. All right, guys. So, it's okay. We're going to keep it moving. I'm going to do the best I can like I always do. Today's neighborhood is none other than Inglewood. Inglewood. What, what? Inglewood, Chicago neighborhood here. I am currently passing Kennedy King College. I am right here at, where am I coming up at? All right, I am at 63rd and Halsted, honey. So, as we know, they have done a little bit of resurgence here, right at 63rd and Halsted. We got a Starbucks and a Chipotle. All right, guys, of course, my videos cut off sometimes, but I am currently at the intersection of 63rd and Halsted. Um, currently, there is a Whole Foods here. Um, they have a Starbucks, a Villa, a Wing Stop, a Nail Shop, um, a Oak Street Health, um, a pharmacy, and then a few other shops, Chipotle. They have, I did mention Starbucks, at and stores so they're trying to re revitalize this area um because uh, back in the day this exact intersection was um a super booming shopping center uh it, well, actually the second largest shopping center i don't know if you guys knew or not i hope you can hear me over the rain i mean over the wind <laughs> but um this area first began in 1840 here in chicago and right now i am actually walking into this Whole Foods here. Hope you all can see. Yeah, so I'm about to uh, just get a couple of items and then we're going to continue the tour, all right? See you all in a second. And stay tuned for more facts. All right. Oh, let me not get hit. <laughs> all right, guys. I just left Whole Foods. Wait, what is that? At? There we go. I just left Whole Foods. Let me get in my car right quick. This is not the time, honey. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, guys. So as mentioned in the last few videos, this area was founded by a man named Wilcox in 1840. Around about 1852 or so, uh, Inglewood was known as Junction City back in the day due to the fact that uh, a lot of trains started to pass in this area. Uh, the Illinois Central Railroad uh, didn't take off just yet, but a lot of trains and a lot of freight trains were starting to come into the area, so it was called Junction Grove. And we are going to keep moving forward, so stay tuned. I'm going to show you guys some things on the tour. I'm excited about this one. I'm I'm super excited. All right, so stay tuned. Oh, yes. I love when it's a red light. Okay, so guys, right now I am at the corner, the intersection of 63rd and Halsted. Um, as mentioned before, this corner here was super essential. Um, there was the one of the second largest Sears locations um, in Chicago, one of the second oldest as well. Sears was built in 1934 here on this in at this intersection, uh, long before the. Um, CTA stop was here. This is currently the Green Line stop right at 63rd and Halsted. I think it's one of the second to last stops because I think the last one is on Ashland. So yes guys, this block here is super historic. Look at the old architecture here. This right now is a rainbow or was a rainbow. It still is a rainbow. Um, so yes, these buildings, it was a lot of older buildings on this street alone, on this stretch alone. As stated before, that intersection was the second largest compared to downtown Chicago. Um, so yeah, it was a Inglewood was a very super booming neighborhood. Um, even it, it thrived even during the depression during the 1930s. 
um, a lot of people did move to this area because the rent was a lot more inexpensive, a lot cheaper. Um, the Black Belt was filling up with uh, back in Bronzeville. Parkway was filled up to the rim, to the brim. So people, you know, they, they moved out and started to spread out. Um, and Inglewood is definitely one of those neighborhoods. There were up to 100,000 Inglewood residents at one time. So stay tuned. Stay tuned, guys. Today's tour will be popping. All right. All right, guys. So I'm just showing you all a little bit of Inglewood's architecture here. These buildings are pretty vintage, pretty old. A lot of the uh, buildings in West Garfield, even the Garfield Park and Gage Park neighborhoods are sort of similar, um, as well as in Bronzeville, like the architecture here, the stones used. Look at this, this is beautiful. And it stands the test of time even today in 2020. So these are some beautiful homes. Um, and I'm sure they're probably split up or, you know, who knows? Unfortunately, Inglewood does have a host of empty lots here. Um, there are a lot of empty lots. Ooh. So, um, yeah, it's not foreign. A lot of neighborhoods in Chicago have a few empty lots. But, all right, I am currently at 65th in Halstead. Once again, um, yeah, this... Kennedy King College. It used to be a lot smaller, but of course they expanded the area. Um, all of this is their land here. This is a big old parking lot. And um, they will be wrapping up uh, the semester right about now and getting ready for the summer uh, semester. But you know, COVID is hating, so that's okay. There is City Sports on the side right there. That City Sports is older than a lot of people I know. <laughs> so all right, we're just going to keep this tour going, guys. Um, the Union Stockyards, I'm going to show you guys that as well. My grandpa, he used to uh, work at the Union Stockyard back in the day. Thrive the uh, Inglewood neighborhood. I'm also going to show you all this building here on the corner. All right, guys, I got to keep my eyes peeled, you know. I'm trying to do a little tour shit for y'all, but uh, let me keep my eyes peeled. All right, so right now I am currently on, what is it, 64th and low. Woo, woo, woo. Thank God it's 12.21 p.m., okay? Anyway, this building here, right here, I just know it because my mom actually took me to, uh, well, I begged her, okay? Let me just be, let me be clear. I begged my mom to drop me off at a party here when I was 16 with my friend named Jackie at the time. Um, so we stayed for all the five minutes because, um, no. This is one of them buildings. This is one of them buildings, man. Mm-mm. And then my little boyfriend at the time, well, down the line later, his people stayed in here, so I would go over here. Whew, Jesus Christ, the ghetto. All right, so here's the front of it, guys. New Inglewood Terrace. When I tell you, when I came up in here, and this reminded me of the uh, part on training day, when he went up in the little terrace part, child. Uh, ooh, I felt like a lion, though. When I felt like the white boy, when, yeah, I felt like Ethan Hawke's character, girl. <laughs> All right, stay tuned for the tour, guys. I'm not throwing shade. I'm just speaking facts. It is what it is. Um, All right, stay tuned. Love y'all. Peace. <laughs> All right, I am currently at 63rd and Wallace. Just want to show you all right here, 63rd and Wallace, right across from Aldi. And right here in front of the United States Post Office, this is the Inglewood location. All right, look at this beautiful art over here. Mother Ambassadors for Peace and Hope. Amen, Ashe. Okay, so... This location here used to be the location of Chicago's first serial killer, Mr. H.H. H. Holmes. This used to be his murder mansion that he built from scratch uh, only to kill people and lure them away from the 1893 World Columbia Exposition. 
that's where he got a lot of his his kills he he lured the people from midway places all the it is said that this location is haunted and also um hh homes is mentioned in episode five which is high park location high park neighborhood of my tour i talk about midway places I talk about uh, Eric Larson's book called Devil in a White City, which is one of my favorite books, which tells the whole history of Chicago and H.H. H. Holmes, the murderer, the killer, the scammer. He was a damn scammer, y'all. Anyway, if you don't know, go ahead and Google Wikipedia, do it all. And uh, we're going to move from this spot. It is haunted, though. That's what I've heard. They do have some Chicago haunted historical tours, and this is one of the spots on the tour. Stay tuned, all right? All right, guys, I'm across the street from the post office here. Uh, the location was like a, a large, a huge uh, mansion, which had a few shops below, a few shops beneath. I think a pharmacy, another shop. So, yeah, uh, this is, of course, not the exact, exact, exact location. I think it was closer to the corner here. But the basement does, uh, the post office of the basement does go and align with the original location. So, it's a lot going on guys here is some beautiful art beautiful murals of of uh local artists here hopefully in chicago uh elevate inglewood yes yes it needs elevation so it's a lot going on guys here is some beautiful art beautiful murals of of uh local artists here hopefully in chicago uh, elevate Inglewood. Yes, yes. It needs elevation for sure. A lot of the neighborhoods in Chicago do. Um, but yeah, I'm here just in an alley <laughs> across the street. So, you know, it, they say, you know, it's, it's terrible, it's bad, but I really do think that they target this area. Alright guys, we're continuing the tour. I had coffee, you know, I'm a frequent urinator. <laughs> TMI, so what? Anyway, so we are headed uh, west on 63rd. Let's get it. This building right here is also ancient. Oh, shit. This one right here, it is now a U.S. bank, but as you can tell, this building is old. It's super old. I need to know what exactly it was prior, um, but this is right here on 63rd Street. And yes, yeah, 815 West 63rd, so Yep, it's still a, still a little store in there hanging on. <laughs> I don't know what. That's like Arby's. I don't know how these little businesses still survive. Unless they, you know. Who knows? Who knows? Alright, so we're going west on 63rd. Come on and flip around. There we go. Hey, I was like, ooh. This gas station, it's, it's always popping. At this one on Racine, we got the little shops, the little sub shops, the little places where you speak to people through the glass, you know. It's an old building here. A lot of businesses that used to exist. Ooh, uh-uh. And motherfuckers who can't drive. Ooh, stupid. And the police. Let me put my phone down. All right, guys. We are continuing west. We just passed 60 Dean. Okay. I remember I picked up a stove from Morgan from over here. Lord Jesus, honey. I was like, oh, this gas station, it's, it's always popping. At this one on Racine, we got the little shops, the little sub shops, the little places where you speak to people through the glass, you know. All right, guys, so I'm currently in front of, well, the police station on 63rd and Laughlin. Uh, we have a lot of businesses here, like this barbershop. Uh, <coughs> oh, okay. <coughs> Just got to a little um, clergy registration place. It's a church here, right here. Yeah, I know. And it's a daycare there. So, I mean, the area it, it's always tried to thrive. But Chicago stopped pouring money into this area for decades for decades for decades and um yeah so we're gonna continue the tour won't be as long this time um so just stay tuned we're gonna show you a few things i'm trying to find some notable homes you know um i do know Lil dark was from this area uh, a few chicago rappers so 
Hey, stay tuned, y'all. Peace. Alright guys, I'm currently at the last stop on the Green Line. The last stop, the last stop of the CTA Green Line Station at 63rd and Ashland. There is a Checkers right there on the corner of Jackson Hewitt. It's Beauty Supply Store. I'm right here by Liberty Tax Service. Um, So yeah, uh, the Green Line train actually goes all the way to Harlem. Um, So this is the last stop on the south side. Um, so yes, I uh, am right here by 63rd and Justine. So stay tuned, guys. We keeping this tour going. It's the last stop on the Green Line, and um, yeah. All right. <laughs> all right, guys. I am on Ashland, headed north. Um, I don't know if you all knew, know this or not, but the uh, CTA elevated rail system is one of the oldest in the country. I think outside of New York, it is the second oldest in the country. Uh, we had our rail system going in the 1800s, honey, okay? So, um, well, let me be aware, because people, man. All right, catch me on the next next clip, because we right here by some fools. All right, guys, as mentioned before, we are heading north on Ashland. The boundaries for the Inglewood Ingle neighborhood are mainly um, 55th, well, that's Garfield, to the north and 75th um south that's south to the south <laughs> so 75th and then uh to 55th street so let's do it also um i just want to make sure that i don't go over to auburn gresham or to west garfield park or you know i'm trying to stay in the boundaries of the inglewood neighborhood so it does vary from like ashland to halstead to to um so you know wallace low those areas those streets and a little further east so we gonna show y'all flip this around okay guys we on 57th and uh ashley Ooh, child. <laughs> all right all right everybody right now i am on 55th and lastland making sure that I'm not passing into the Garfield Park neighborhood. I did want to show you guys a little bit of architecture here. Some of these buildings are actually a lot older than expected. Um, some of these were built in the turn of the century in the early 1900s um, because this area, once again, it was not always African American. Um, there is a thing called window there. Like They, they moved right out um, and they either move to the suburbs or downtown or other areas but I am at uh, 55th and Troop and here's some more of the park here oh I just swerved a little bit so yeah guys I used to hang out on uh, what's this 55th and Aberdeen my dusty ass ex his family lived uh, over here and so um, yeah I would you know spend a, a day or two you know and drive over from my house to come see him sleep on the floor anyway <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna keep the tour going i'm excited it's just gloomy and cloudy here um and as you all know i got the wrong colors on i got on gold and black Ooh, i am not a latin king a latin queen i ain't none of that i'm not gang affiliated at all all right, guys, I'm approaching 55th and Halsted here. This area is pretty historic. 55th and Halsted right here. Some of these buildings are, are they're still standing. They, they definitely need updates and renovation, but they are still standing. And they are still here. All right, I'm going to turn down Halsted. I am making a right. This area, oh yeah, once again, I mean, all of this, this, all of this was filled with, with shops and stores. Even Martin Luther King, he came to Chicago in 1966 for the first time, I think, to go ahead and help organize some of the, the uh, housing concerns in Chicago because a lot of, of uh, banks and landowners, a lot of, of uh, yeah, a lot of banks did redlining back in the day. And uh, red mining is just basically when a bank refuses to sell you a... Alright, these are some new constructs here. This is a new construct. Right here at 57th and Halsted. 
All right, yes, I got the green light. Let's get it. Okay, guys, so yes, we are going south on Halstead. I just passed the church to the right. Uh, there is like a radio station, I think, inside of Kennedy King College. So this is a big old uh, tower here. Some of these buildings are really old. You can see some of the old lettering there. Right now at 59th and Halstead. So yes, guys, the building of the Dan Ryan Expressway, um, that also eradicated a lot of housing at the time. About the Dan Ryan Expressway, I think it started building it around uh, the 1940s or so, late 1940s. And um, yeah, so they they came around. Inglewood is filled with positive messages. This one right here by this basketball court says, be your higher self. That is beautiful. Hello, youth. Y'all be safe now. Y'all be safe. This building is old as shit and it needs some renovation, but that is a beautiful property. All right, we are on 61st and Halstead, honey. We are coming right back down to the Kennedy King College campus. It is one of the city colleges of Chicago. You can get your associate degree here. Um, among other things, I think they have the Washburn Culinary, Culinary Institute here as well. And um, yep, here is the shopping center I just left the Inglewood Square Market. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Fancy. Alright guys, stay tuned. We're passing the CTA and coming up on a few other things as well. Alright guys, as you can see, I am in front of City Sports here at 6535 South Halstead. As you can see, this building is pretty vintage. I was trying to actually get the origin, the actual date that it was built because the architecture here it is pretty vintage and old um so yeah it's a few shoe stores in there overpriced shoes uh a place a jewelry place a beauty supply store of course it wasn't always like this this store even in 2020 is about i just saw about 10 people try to go up in there so they waiting in line to go with you honey you won't catch me in no city sports in 2020 but that's what's up to each his own. This is one, also a flagship store. It's just always been around in this area. And um, yeah, we're gonna wind down on the tour. It's a, beginning to rain off and on. So my signal kind of gets a little iffy. Um, and so we're just doing the best we can. Thank you all for watching. Keep watching. And uh, if you're able, please go ahead and- As I was saying, if you're able to tip your tour guide, please do so via Cash App at Socialite Artistry dollar sign socialite s-o-c-h-y-l-i-t-e artistry and um yeah guys the tour is winding down i'm gonna go further south on um halstead show you a little bit more of the business district that existed or it still exists um it's a lot of arabs that have moved into this community uh, a lot of their shops and stores um a lot of food places are ran by arab men um, a lot of the places to get your Swisher, you know, the phone store. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. This area is definitely, it's still African-American, 99%. But people have moved in. Uh, different people of different nationalities and different colors. Ooh, that street was terrible back there. Okay, right now I am at 7 and Halstead also known as Marquette and Halstead this gas station here Whew. child it seemed more more than a little bit roll it down but yeah this gas station is foolish super foolish it's super dark so it looks dark but yeah that gas station and this white castle you want to catch me here around 10 or 10 p.m or 11 p.m on a Saturday night or Friday night in Chicago in the middle of summer, maybe August or July. Hell no. Nah. You ain't gonna catch me over here. No. No. But we are going south on Halstead as as mentioned. Alright. A lot of empty lots as mentioned before, guys. A lot of empty lots. I'm gonna pull over here. Alright guys, we're passing 69th and Halstead. I will get the light. This Burger King here, I would not go to if it was the last one in the entire world. I just would not do it. 
Oh, look at these little kids. Oh, look at these little children. Aww. Okay, guys. So, yes, Inglewood. Um, around 1970, around the 70s, after King died, things changed a lot for a lot of big cities. Um, King and, and Malcolm X, they were like, you know, just, just it. You know, they were held with high esteem. Who people, boy, over here? So, and I'm not being biased at all. You know, I'm from the east side, but I, I, I used to hang on. In, uh, I used, you know, I'm gonna show y'all my apartment that I had over here. <laughs> For a couple weeks so stay tuned all right all right guys we got a uh, halstead grocery and liquor this little shopping mall is always popping right here on 71st and halstead so all right some more architecture for you all as mentioned in the last few videos this is the home of the gds the uh gangster disciples um even they even mentioned uh i think the uh blackstone black rangers blackstone rangers um so yes guys a lot of chicago rappers from inglewood please look it up google it do your research we are at 72nd basu oh this is a beautiful viaduct let's see what they got under this okay we got a mural under here that's pretty beautiful there so let me get out the phone and i'll see y'all in a second all right all right, guys, I don't know if you all know, but, um, yeah, after King died in around the 70s, about three major gangs were started in Chicago in the 70s around that time. Um, the Disciples hail from the Inglewood area. Um, GDs, uh, better known as um, GDs, or, you know, uh, yeah, Gangsta Disciples. Uh, also, they also say growth and development, you know. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's, it was a lot of gangs over here in the area. Uh, Jeff Fort was the founder and the originator of the GDs uh, in Chicago. So please do your gang history if you would like to. But our tours are all about positivity. Um, so we kind of just keep things on the up and up. But we got to keep it real with you guys as well. I got on the wrong colors. I'm supposed to have on my black and my blue instead of my black and my gold. Oh, now they think I'm a Latin king, a Latin queen because I'm light-skinned, Jesus. So let me just finish the tour up we gonna wrap it up and that's gonna be it love and light <laughs> all right guys we are heading south i remember little dirk he said on one of his interviews that he grew up actually on 72nd and halsted we just passed in 73rd now also to the right uh is one of the liquor stores where i had my last uh alcohol promo event Due to COVID, I had my last one there on March, let's see, March 13th. So here it is here on the corner, Spirit Beverage Center right here. And um, yeah, we're headed south. We're, it's a lot of churches on Halstead. We are right now at 75th Street, approaching 76. Oh, Jesus. All right, so yes, a lot of black businesses. The Martin Luther King skating rink is uh, down further to uh, 76 and Racine. All right, here we have a J&J &J on 76, and we are going to go a little bit east and wrap around, guys. See you in a second. All right, guys, we just, plant, we just passed Emerald like a block off Halstead. If you know who Emerald Green is, go ahead, give her a like, a follow on IG, Emerald Green, that's my home girl. Alright guys, so we are passing uh, 75th, no, 76th and Wallace. And here we are, let's flip this around. Oh, shit. Okay, I can't flip it around. Right, we have some new crime structs here on 76th Street. Just trying to make the community a better place this viaduct here is uh definitely needs some work <laughs> all right if you all know this building right here on 76 all right we're getting a little out the area i don't want to cross into anything but we are right here at 76 in eggleston i went to a party here in this building before they have a lot of uh just different uh spaces it's called the steward business center Alright guys, and then we are going to bust a left right on Stewart. 
right on Stewart. My window is cloudy as shit. I need a car wash. All right, let's do it. Okay, more architecture for you all. That's a beautiful building. Look at these, are some apartments here. Oh we definitely needs to be rehabbed for sure. And yeah, so that's kind of how Chicago is, guys. Like you can be on one block where it's all houses and then you can be on the next block where they kind of all need to be renovated. It's a little store here on 75th and Stewart. Oh, okay, BMW. All right, so that's it, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, right, right here, we are at the corner of 71st and Stewart. Right here is the Culture Connection, one of my favorite stores. It is a black-owned store. It says, uh, what does it say? Something about knowledge. Anyway, <laughs> the bushes are covering it up. It's a lot of empty lots here, as you all can see. I had to change my platform, unfortunately, because instagram is taking way too long to load facebook is not working so we're just gonna use the phone in a video we just might just post the videos as is um so unfortunately i can't flip this around but yes this is one of my favorite stores the tour is winding down so stay tuned and um thank you all for watching all right guys our tour is just about winding down um so yes uh inglewood had about six movie theaters they had hundreds of stores, hundreds of shops. Um, they had Sears and Roebuck. They had Woolworths. They had Walgreens with an actual like lunch counter where you could sit at. Uh, a Wee Bolts. They had, uh, I think, Montgomery Ward. You know, all types of those old vintage stores that used to exist. So, um, yes, guys, this is the tour. Thank you all for watching. Love and light. Be safe. Put your mask on um and yeah we're just gonna wrap this thing on out i mean hopefully this will be the last you know not the last week but we are winding down i'm ready to get back to society so yeah thank you all for watching dollar sign social light artistry for any tips any gas maybe a coffee anything um and yeah thank you all for watching love and light peace peace Hey guys, Instagram is just being a hoe, so that's all right. All right, so I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but I'm always looking for sponsorships for partners for people to uh, give me their products so I can display them and show them on my tours. And um, today's sponsor for my earrings today oh, is none other than Harlem 1926 on Etsy. They have an Etsy shop right on Etsy, and it's called Harlem one word 1926 so harlem one word 1926 thank you all um and they didn't ask me to to do this but i got these earrings for my birthday from them and they are super cute and you guys know i love things like this so all right that's it thank you all for watching this week's tour love and light to you all please check the full episodes and the full videos on my youtube channel and that's it peace